Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Coyote Alayade coming up on the program. 16 persons sentenced to life imprisonment in Cross River State for adulteration of diesel. Road safety officials in Anambra State begin to decongest roads. And Kaduna State Government begins construction of township roads. Welcome to the program. The Benue State Government has denied the receipt of 92 billion naira as refunds for the Paris Club loans following excess deductions from the state accounts between 1995 to 2002 by the federal government. The Commissioner for Finance, Mr. David Olofu, told a news conference after the state executive meeting where the issue of the alleged 92 billion naira receipt was raised, says it is important to clear the air on the alleged receipt and utilization of the fund. Mr. Olofu, however, admits the process of reclaiming the fund, which is about 75 billion naira, is ongoing, but the state government is not under any obligation to use the amounts to settle outstanding civil servant salaries and pension arrears. Benway State, the food basket of the nation, which is among 27 states that are unable to pay civil servants' salaries as it went due. The state is also faced with the allegation of secretly accessing about 92 billion naira from the Paris Club loan debt relief. However, rising from its weekly executive council meeting, the Benue State government says it's not received any money from the alleged refund, which is said to be 75 billion naira, not the reported 92 billion naira. The Benue State government has not received 10 kobo as refund from the federal government in terms of Paris and London club debt refund. And um, I am also in touch with my colleagues in other states of the federation and nobody has confirmed to me that any refund has been made as at this point. The Commissioner of Finance further states that the state government is not under any obligation to settle all outstanding salary and pension arrears from the money when received, contrary to popular opinion among civil servants. We are not under any obligation whatsoever to use it for pension or salaries. But like you already know, the priority of this government is to put more money in the pockets of our workers and of our pensioners. And so His Excellency has decided that when the refund comes, we will use, it, use part of it to offset whatever um, salary that we are that is outstanding. The State Executive Council also pardoned one of the indicted companies by the Justice Kojime report for the alleged diversion of 107 billion naira after the company made a refund of 355.9 million to the state. The state government says it is committed to the settlement of all outstanding salary and pension arrears and would use part of the 75 billion naira Paris Club refunds to clear its indebtedness to civil servants. We head southwest now to Ogun State where the government says it is ready to partner private solar power companies to provide social amenities across rural communities of the state and develop small and medium enterprises. The State Commissioner for Commerce and Industry, Mr. Bimbo Ashiru, made this announcement while on an on-the-spot assessment of a private company dealing in solar energy facilitated by the state government as part of the industrial development of the state. While assuring businesses operating in the state of a business-friendly environment, he charged them to be more responsible. Thank you. 
spaces like chosen to have. And the fact is that we, the environment you are having now is to make sure that you have the right kind of client. Uh, because we've got to be able to have good clients that will come for this sort of product. Because you have a product and nobody is patronizing you, then it's a problem. Yeah. But you have a product now that's actually needed in this country because one of the problems we have is energy. In Edo State, the police command there has paraded 87 suspects at the force headquarters in Benin City, the Edo State capital, arrested for different crimes ranging from armed robbery, kidnapping to unlawful possession of firearms, amongst others. Addressing journalists, the Commissioner for Police, Edo State, Haliru Gwandu, said the success story so far can be attributed to hard work on the part of men of the command as well as the useful information provided by the public. It's another parade of various suspects apprehended from recent operations carried out by officers of the Edo State Police Command. Members of the 4th Estate of the Realm swoop on the commander's quarters in Benin City, the state capital, eager to hear the suspect's side of the story. Also on display are some of the items said to have been recovered from the accused. The Edo State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Haliru Gwandu, said the force had made significant progress in the fight against crime. He gives a scorecard of achievements recorded since October 19, 2016. Under the murder case, we have arrested three persons, three suspects. Two are charged to court one still under investigation. Under cult zip, we have arrested 34 suspects, 15 who are charged to court. The Edo police boss also assures residents and visitors of adequate protection from law enforcement officers as the festive season looms. On no account should our men clamp on innocent citizen. The fact that somebody has come from diaspora to celebrate with his family is not enough for you to suspect him, clamp on him, and frame him for anything. If our policemen have any reason, they must have enough dossier, enough evidence, and then they must invite somebody to a conventional police station and incident the matter and investigate the matter. The Edo State Police Command restates its commitment to crime prevention but insists that security should be everyone's responsibility. PDP senators have staged a walkout during today's plenary over the defection of Senator Yele Omogunwa on those south to APC. The PDP senators are demanding that the Senate President should declare his seat vacant until his defection, Omogwa was the only PDP senator from Ondo State. Speaking after the announcements, uh, Mr. Godwusuil Akpabio, Senate Minority Leader, said since Omogwa had defected to the APC, his seat ought to be declared vacant. He asked that the Senate President to declare Omogwa seat vacant, but Dr. Saraki, Bukola Saraki, declined and ruled him out of order. We'll take a short break. Now when we come back, we have other stories coming out of Anambra State, Kaduna, Plateau, as well as Bielsa. Stay with us. <laughs> 